this is literally telling me how to make a foot massage. What kind of a period hack is this? Hey guys, it's Sharon. Today's video is something I haven't done before on my channel, and I feel like I've been saying that in like all my last few videos. This month has been very experimental for this channel, which is actually kind of exciting. Like, we love shaking up the content and seeing what you guys love to see and seeing what I love to make. So that being said, I'm honestly surprised I haven't done this before because I know you guys, and I know I have plenty of times seen those ridiculous hack videos on Facebook, on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, whatever you may use. It feels like five minute hacks and you're just like, this is absolutely ridiculous. You're like, there's no way any of these would work and anyone would actually try any of them. So you know what we're gonna do now? We're gonna react to some of these. So I am gonna be watching those five minute videos, but special edition period hacks. Your girl does make a lot of peer related videos. I have an all about periods playlist. If you wanna binge that, definitely feel free to. I do wanna make a part two of this video and that is taking these hacks that I saw and actually trying them out. So if you want to see that give this a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below make sure to follow me on my instagram and my twitter so you can have the same my videos just like this one and of course if you want to see more definitely subscribe for more i'm not gonna lie i'm very nervous to see some of these hacks because i have seen a few of these before <sighs> Just why? Like, I just think about them and just, who thinks of this stuff? I haven't even started the video and I'm already just so butthurt about it. But okay, let's actually get into this. So I literally just put in five minute period hacks onto YouTube. And the first one has 6.7 million views and it's called 18 ultimate period hacks. So let's see how ultimate these hacks actually are. Five minute crafts, girly edition. Oh God. So we got some panties here. We're rolling the panties and Okay, so it's a way to wrap your panties. You know what? That's actually pretty helpful. That's pretty convenient. Oh, wow. It put them into a little, like, a little tampon-shaped roll. Yeah. Oh, I've seen this one so many times. Like, sticking your tampon in the lipstick tube, covering up a stain in public. Okay, duh. Who doesn't know that? Who doesn't know the hoodie thing? That's, like, the easiest one. How to wash off blood. I mean, you know, I get a lot of comments and messages asking me, how do you clean blood off your, like, clothes? I've never had an issue taking my blood off. I will literally literally just wipe with water and hand soap and scrub and it comes off. I have heard hydrogen peroxide is really good for it, but it just never seems this much of an issue. Granted, if you do wait a little bit longer, I think it'll be tougher because your blood is more dried and soaked up in there, but okay, this is something to test. How to avoid staining your bed sheets? You put a towel. Come on, this is some rookie stuff. Of course. Ah, oh, come on. I thought we were gonna see something ridiculous. Wait a minute. Okay, the heating pad with the rice, whatever this was, a cereal. I mean, fair. I've also seen like warming up like a water bottle, honestly, like boiling some water, sticking in a hot towel. You know? Okay, so these aren't that stupid. <laughs> Temporary pads. Okay, I mean, yes. I do this! When you don't have a pad available, definitely roll up a piece of toilet paper. And that extra part was also wrapping the toilet paper around your underwear to make it feel a little bit more secure. And also prevent some leaking from your underwear onto your pants, your leggings, whatever you're wearing. Interesting. Okay, we see you. Oh, was that the cramps putting your legs up? I have seen that too. Make a box for your hygiene products. Yeah. Have an emergency kit. If you don't have an emergency kit, sis, you're missing out 110%. You never know when you're gonna need something. Tips for those days? We just saw this. They literally just showed this already. But I mean, I'm gonna throw in a fun hack in here. Keep underwear specifically for your period, underwear that you wouldn't mind getting a little bit dirty and ruined. Who just carries a handkerchief like that? Handkerchief, handkerchief, I don't even know how to say that anymore. But then you're gonna stain that. I, okay, they're getting a little bit ridiculous. Oh my God, I've seen this one so many times. The whole sewing a pocket onto your underwear, there are so many places where you can keep like period products. Also, I use really thick pads, okay? I use overnight pads all the freaking time and I'm just saying I can't stick an overnight pad in a pocket in my underwear because then I'm gonna have just this bulge, square bulge on my vagina. Like stick it in your shoes, your waistband, your bra even. Girl, you're really gonna go out of your way to put a pocket on your panties. No. Am I still gonna test it? Maybe. <laughs> oh gosh, what? What's for PMS dark chocolate? Okay, true, true, dark chocolate and bananas. This is some really helpful stuff right here. A little red wine, only if you're of legal drinking age in your country, okay? What is, what, what is a foot? 
what massage have to do with getting your period? Of course you want to relax in a period. Okay, this is dumb. This is literally telling me how to make a foot massage. What kind of a period hack is this? Okay, I'm really uncomfortable. This is so long. This is like the longest massage thing. When did this turn into a massage video? Life hacks to keep calm. Okay, I'm not here for life hacks to keep calm, um, <laughs> which I'm not doing right now. I'm here for period hacks. Hello? I am confusion. Nope, this just got ridiculous. Let's go to another one. Period hacks girls don't know about. How to survive your periods. Five minute crafts. Once again, 2.2 million views. Oh, five minute crafts. You're so weird. That video for the most part though, it wasn't bad. No. Bruh. That's so gross. <laughs> okay, I mean, yeah, just hiding period products and a bunch of random stuff like an old chip bag, an old little Mentos thing you can stick a tampon in, like, fair. I mean, also, no shame in letting people know. Yeah, I got my period, so? You never seen a pad before? Sucks to be you. What is going on? Are they about to make a pad out of a t-shirt? Yup. There are actually reusable pads out there, so this might not be that bad. It just looks very complicated. Like, you could just order those pads online, you know, but I guess if you're in a rut and and you need a pad, just take your shirt off and make a pad. Very convenient. Here we are with the stupid pocket thing again. How does that work? Unless you have the thinnest pad possible. What's she gonna do? Tie something around her waist? Oh, a panty liner? Okay. Interesting! A pad on the pants as well as the underwear for double protection. Or you can just wear a pad and a tampon or a pad and a cup too. You know, multiple things like that. Did, did homegirl just take off her pants in public? Was she wearing leggings, underwear, and jeans? That's too much. What? You imagine just getting cream, you're just like, over here, just definitely try that. Oh, is this the ripping sound? Easy peasy. You either cut it off or you flush the toilet at the same time. Yep, sis, cut it off. I mean, you're more than likely not gonna have scissors just readily available, so flush the toilet at the same time you're opening a pad. Is this more how to hide your products? I mean, again, nothing wrong with your products being out and about. Look at that, the Mentos tube. And I said you could use that for tampons, but also that's like one tampon. What are you gonna have, like five Mentos tubes just in your purse? That's also sus. <laughs> what the heck is that? Oh, is that supposed to be blood? Oh, like that blood that sticks on the toilet? Sh who carries shoe protector spray though? I don't know if this works or not. Try putting like toilet paper where your blood's gonna land maybe. I don't know, just flush a couple of times. No, no, no. No. I already know. No. Just, first of all, who just conveniently has a super thick, gigantic sock in their purse? And then you're gonna put that in your panties as a pad? Do you know how thick those socks are? You're just gonna have this gigantic bulge. This is ridiculous. That is so dumb. Just, no. You know, I have seen this before. You guys actually told me about that. You can put, like, a little panty liner on the back of your pad so it doesn't leak out the back. Okay, that's not bad. But I can't get over that sock one. Okay, this isn't period hacks anymore. Gosh, these are all five minutes. 20 three period hacks, five minute crafts, how to survive your periods, five minute crafts, 15 helpful period life hacks, five minute crafts. Does anyone else do these other than five minute crafts? This one has 7.2 million views. Let's do that one. Do they just make compilations of their same videos in every single video, just in a different order? Okay, let's try another one. 22 things girls don't know about their periods, 7.3 million likes or views. We literally already saw this one. No way. Oh my god. They just recycle the same content over and over again. <laughs> and they put it in a different order. Okay, wait, what's this? This has a cup. Is this how to insert a cup? I mean, that's not a hack, but I guess. I'm so pissed. There she is with her stupid winter sock again. No. She sneezed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Red River, we get it. What's next? What's she gonna do? What's the hack here? She just sneezed, that was it. 19 unbelievable period hacks that will shock you. Will they shock me? We gonna find out. Okay, again with the lipstick in the tube. Just recycling content over here, the hoodie. We know how to wash off blood. You guys, they generally use the same content for every single video and all these videos get millions of views. I'm just gonna start posting my same videos over and over again. I feel bamboozled, I really do. 43 period and toilet hacks every girl should know. Period life hacks at five minutes. Thank you, at least you put the timestamps. I just, again, with the washing the underwear, this is just recycling content over and over again. Okay, you know what? <laughs> if you guys want to see actual period hacks, I have multiple videos for relevant period hacks that I don't repost every single time. Again, with the underwear and the pocket, I understand why five minute crafts is ridiculous now because they post the same two videos on every single 
video possible. Let's try this one. What's this? We haven't seen this before, I don't think. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> what we got for period cramps? Parsley, water, cherries? Are those cherries? I, I, Cranberries? I have no idea what fruit that is. It would be helpful to know what it was. Oh, but they use the concentrate, con whatever. Cherry juice and parsley. Okay, you know, that actually sounds kind of helpful. I'm not gonna lie. Whether or not it works, I don't know. Whether it tastes like booty or not, I also don't know. Girl, we can't own white pants. <laughs> Soda? No way. If you were telling me Coca-Cola takes out period stains, I'm gonna be very alarmed because you drink Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola goes in your body and is getting rid of stains and clothing. What do they put in Coca-Cola? Okay. No. Girl, this stupid pocket panty thing. She literally pulled the pad out of her bra. That is a perfect spot to put your pads or your tampons in in the first place. You don't need this stupid pocket with a gigantic pad bulging out of you. <laughs> a strong headache, coconut oil. I know peppermint is really good for headaches, like peppermint tea, peppermint oil, just smelling that. Oh, that was a lot of oils. Freeze. Oh, and then you use it like a little cream or a lotion on the temples. Interesting. That might be something to try. Oh no, this man has seen a tampon. What will he do? Okay, yeah. You know, I think I've mentioned this hack before. I'm not gonna lie. That's really convenient. Like using a wipes bag just because you can. Again, nothing wrong with showing your products though. Yeah, I'm a woman. I bleed. What's it to ya? Oh no. Is this the mood swings? Chamomile. Okay, yeah. Okay. This is all stuff I've heard definitely really helps with the period, so yeah, this sounds like it could work for sure. It's making your own little tea, not a bad hack. For once, just kidding, the first half of the video was good. <laughs> Again with this girl in bed. Again with these tips for, I know how to wash my panties by now, thank you. Uh, they literally put this underwear pocket in this video twice already, in this same video. Why? Again with the sock and the rice thing, twice in this video. Y'all have got me so messed up right now. Okay, five minute crafts. I don't know what the heck y'all doing over there, but. <laughs> is her in a sis's head. If you guys enjoyed this video, give this a thumbs up and let me know. Even though this video was more of like complaining about five minute period hacks than like, well, I guess I am reacting to it. So yeah, my reaction is just complaining the whole time. But anyways, if you guys want to see me actually try some of these hacks, let me know in the comments below. Something tells me I'm going to have to sew a freaking pocket on some panties. And then when y'all see that bulge of my super thick overnight pads, you will know why it pisses me off so much. But you know what? That whole sock thing, I refuse to do that. I'm not sticking a winter sock because imagine wearing skinny jeans and you have this gigantic winter sock as a pad. No. Anyways, shout out of the day goes to Kennedy. If you would like to be shout of the day, just follow me on my Instagram and stay active. I did start a new series on Instagram. It's called Tea Time with Just Sharon, where every single Friday I hop on my stories and I answer questions that you are too afraid to ask anyone else, so you ask a stranger on the internet. I also post those onto IGTV later on, so you can go binge them in case you miss them on Friday. And I also did sign up for TikTok, finally. I'm a cool kid now, so definitely follow your girl on TikTok. I can't believe I'm saying that. Like, who is she? But anyways, if you guys would like to see more period-related videos, I have a bunch on my channel, and I actually have some not-stupid period hack videos. If I'm not mistaken, I have two or three, so you can definitely go binge those. But all that being said, I will probably see you guys next time with a, a part two of me actually testing these out, because now I'm angry, and I gotta see what the hype with these content repeaters. But anyways, definitely subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!